What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content and today we're going to cover S Pen Air Actions for media by providing a tutorial to demonstrate proper use. Now, a side note, these functions seem to work best with S series devices, such as the Tab S911 inch you see here, or the S Ultra series, such as the S23 Ultra, or the upcoming S24 Ultra. Now, you may be thinking about the Z Fold series. The functions seem to work with that device as well, but it appears you need a higher tier pin to perform these air actions that you're going to see in this content. All things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So let's talk how to use the S Pen's Air Actions. Now for this content, again, I'll be using the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 11 inch, only because it has a larger display and it's probably going to be easier to demonstrate functionality because of that. So we're going to start by undocking the pen from the back of the S9 11 inch. And I have this nice speaking case installed, which allows for the pen to dock more securely than if you weren't using a case. And interesting note, the S Pen charges on the back of the Tab S9 11 inch. So let's go ahead and flip over the Tab S9 11 inch. We're going to have correct screen orientation for this tutorial and we're going to have a little pop-up. It's a circle with a pen inside of it, and if we hover over it, we get a pop-up that states air command. And we can click on that little icon there and tap on the gear icon. And then we can just verify that air actions are enabled. And if they are, that pill will be highlighted blue and we can back out and go back to our home screen. Now for this tutorial, when it comes to the S Pen, we're going to be talking mainly air actions for this device, but you can use the S Pen to navigate your UI or to press and hold and drag things around. But let's talk about air actions you can perform with the S Pen. Now, in order to do this, you do want some form of media playing such as music or video, and YouTube works very well here. Now I could tell you that Air Actions is currently not available because this logo here, again the icon with the pen in it, it's not highlighted the purple color that we need it to be. And when it's highlighted purple, that lets you know that Air Actions are active, they are available. And in order to do so, again, you wanna get some media playing. So now that we have content playing, you'll know that Air Actions once again are available because we have this little icon. It again is the circle with the pen in it, but now it's highlighted purple. And also if we hover over it, you can see Air Actions for media. This is a nice little reference if you don't use this feature often and you want somewhat of a refresher. Now, interesting note, even though we have this list here, there are actually other air actions you can perform, but these are going to be the simple ones we're going to stick to for this tutorial. So now we have a YouTube video playing and we can pause, which will be our first air action, by pressing the button on the S Pen once. And you can see that's going to pause the video. Now, if we want to go to the next form of media in line, we're going to tap that S Pen button twice. And that's going to take us to the next video. So I can't say the button on the S Pen works really well here for this case use. And it kind of gives you somewhat of a hands-free operation because the S Pen becomes the remote. So let's talk volume control with the S Pen. Since this is the one that I had the hardest time with, and I'm hoping that this tip will help you out because the directions aren't all that clear. And just to let you know, I've had issues with Samsung directions with other devices such as the Galaxy Buds. But if we take a look here, you can see that the gesture for volume up is going to be volume up or volume down. You want to ignore this somewhat, to be honest. And I'm actually going to show you the proper way to control the volume. So you do want to press and hold the button on the S Pen, but instead of swiping up, you want to kind of swipe somewhat diagonally off of the screen. So you want to go more like that instead of how the directions tell you, which is like that. That would be for the volume up. And volume down, instead of swiping down, it's going to be swiping in almost diagonally again. So let's give it a try. Press and hold the button and swipe out. And volume is going up and then volume down. 
and volume's going down. This works a lot more better than, again, the directions. Just to demonstrate, we'll try to go by the directions. I'm going to press and hold and swipe up, and it changes a track. But we'll try the volume down. Press and hold the button and swipe down. And that actually does work. So swiping up, again, it's not very accurate. But if I swipe out, it works a lot better for some reason. And now we have the tablet laying flat. And you would think that in order to increase the volume, you would swipe out somewhat diagonally. And to decrease the volume, you would swipe in somewhat diagonally. But it seems that pulling up to increase volume and pulling down to decrease volume works a little bit better here. So let's give it a try. We're going to press and hold the S Pen button and pull up. And there we go, volume up. And then we're going to press and hold the S Pen button and pull down. And there we go. So you can see that depending on the orientation of the tablet, things don't necessarily work as you would expect. Now again, the directions are to swipe up or swipe down. We can demonstrate that. But it seems to change the track and the other way seems to open the camera. So this is not really great implementation. You can try these tips and hopefully they will work for you. And we kind of have the same situation with the S23 Ultra. So here we are with the S23 Ultra. I wanted to get this one in here just to do a demonstration of the volume control. So to increase the volume, we're going to pull up and to decrease, we're going to pull down. So I'm going to press and hold the button and pull up. And that's going to increase the volume. I'm going to press and hold the button and pull down. And that's going to decrease the volume. Now I'm going to change the orientation here just to demonstrate that I'm not crazy. So here we are in this orientation and instead of pulling up like we did, we're going to swipe out to the side diagonally to increase the volume and to decrease, we're going to swipe in diagonally. So let's give it a try. Okay, that's swiping out diagonally and then we're going to swipe in diagonally. And that's going to decrease the volume. So this seems to work really good in this with this method, in this orientation and with the method in the other orientation. Now we have one more action to demonstrate here and that is either previous or next. And I changed the angle of the device slightly just to demonstrate this a bit easier. So previous will be pressing and holding the button and swiping left and next will be pressing and holding the button and swiping right. So let's give it a try. So previous works great and we're going to do next press and hold the button, swipe right. So that works good. That works as intended. No issues there. Now, there are other error actions you can perform with the S Pen, but I wanted to keep this tutorial fairly simple. However, if you are looking for more information, I included a link in the description down below. And we're going to end this content by docking the S Pen again here so that it can charge. So that is pretty much it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time, Leon check in out.